guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm sierra and i'm so happy to have you here today as you can see from the title of this video today i'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup so without further ado let's just go ahead and get started okay so first i'm going to be going in with this elf ultra precise brow pencil to fill in my brows a little bit normally i like to go in with a little bit thicker brow pencil from elf but i actually ran out of it so we're gonna be using this one today and I'm just gonna be kind of just filling them in a little bit. I'm not gonna do like any like outlining or anything. I'm really gonna focus on the sparser areas of my brow. And just kind of getting them to look a little bit more full since you know your brows do frame your face. So just filling them in a little bit. Alright you guys, so these are the finished brows. On these kinds of days, I really try and brush them out to make them look super natural um, and like fluffy. I feel like it just looks better and just overall like, you know, you're not trying too hard. I especially focus on the front of the brow because I want that to really look natural because I feel like that's a giveaway if you have a lot of makeup on or your brows. But, okay, next we're gonna go ahead and get into the skin. I think skin is the most important part. For me, it's like skin and brows and lashes. So those are like three things that I definitely do on, during my everyday like makeup days, no matter how much time I have. So let's go ahead and get into the skin. Today I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this one's in the shade Fair Beige. And I'm just gonna be kind of covering up any spots that I have. So like this one right here is really annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that one up. And then wherever I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage. So like along my hairline, I have a few pimples that decided to pop up the other day. They're starting to go away though, luckily. I have like a freckle right here. Has some scarring on my chin and on my cheeks. And then also, I'll kind of do the under eyes a little bit so I don't look super tired. And it's really important before you do this, you guys, to do your skincare and let it sit for a little bit. So I did my skincare like 20, 30 minutes before I'm filming this. So I do recommend that. And I also recommend finding a concealer that's really close to your skin tone. So it's not like super noticeable. Um, and then I let it sit there for a few minutes. And then I'll go ahead and blend it out with my sponge. Um, you can use a brush if you want. Sometimes I'll use a brush. Um, sometimes I'll use a sponge. And I also want to mention, you guys, this is literally makeup that I have in my bathroom, in my little bag. It has makeup all over it. But this is the makeup I literally have in my bag in my bathroom because I don't get ready in here. I usually get ready in my bathroom. So I just wanted to mention that. This is the makeup that I literally use. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and blend this out now. With the sponge, you're gonna get a little bit less coverage, but I think it makes it look a little bit more flawless in my opinion. But you guys should let me know down below if you prefer a sponge or a brush. I might have to apply a little bit more and let it sit there on this spot. I should have blended it out last just because it's like if you let your concealer sit it'll give you a little bit more coverage in that spot and right there that pimple is really bright and annoying so I want to make sure that gets covered up nicely we're gonna blend all of this out
Alrighty you guys, so this is how the look is looking so far. As you can see, I covered up that redness. I look a little bit more awake under my eyes and a little bit more presentable. So next, I actually want to add a, another cream product. I know some people are not really into cream products, but I feel like they look very natural, especially on like everyday glam, or even if you don't want to look like you're wearing makeup, but you are. So I'm going to be going with this CoverGirl Clean Fresh liquid blush actually it's more of a cream blush i feel like yeah it says cream blush and this one's in the shade 350 flushed i'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand this stuff is very pigmented like look at that it, but it doesn't look like that on the cheeks you just have to blend it out and i'm gonna take like a little, little stipple brush like this and kind of work it on the back of my hand and kind of look at how pigmented that is you guys but it's a really pretty color and I really like adding the flush back into my cheeks because as you guys can see, I'm naturally pretty rosy. So we're just going to kind of work that on the cheeks. And if I apply a little bit too much, it's okay. We can go ahead and blend it out. But with these kind of products, you just have to keep working with it. And blending that out like this is too much. This brush is a little small. One of my other brushes is dirty that I typically use, but let me just use my sponge and it has a little bit of that concealer on it just to blend that out. I have really been enjoying these blushes for a few months. So I'm just going to keep working that out and blending it out. Look at how natural that's looking. Alright you guys, so here is how we are looking. I think this blush is just super duper pretty and it just looks really natural in my opinion. Um, you could obviously skip the step if you really wanted to, but I really like it, especially when I have a little bit of extra time to kind of work with it. But if not, you can use a powder bl blush and we're actually going to go in with a powder blush in a little bit as well. Um, next, I want to get into powder. So I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 05 Fair. And I'm gonna put this right under my eyes just to set that concealer and to kind of keep it from creasing. So we're gonna set this. And it's gonna brighten up the under eye a little bit because like I said, it is not, it's not translucent powder. It's gonna add a little bit of color. So it's gonna brighten up the under eyes just a little bit. I'm kind of going to pat that in and then we'll dust it away in a moment. Put it on my lids as well. My lids can get a little bit oily and put it down these center planes of my face. And we're going to dust that away in a moment. But until then, I'm going to go in with this. It's kind of dirty. Look at how dirty that is. Wipe it off. This Catrice Prime and Fine Matte um, Finishing Powder, and this one's waterproof and it's transparent, so it's not going to add any color to my face. So I'm just going to swirl it in there and then kind of dust it on the rest of my face just to set the rest of that concealer. And like I said, it's waterproof, so it's really great for all day wear. And I'm gonna kind of dust this under eye powder away. You can swirl it into the rest of your, of your face if you have a little bit extra. All right, you guys. And then next, I wanna go in with a little bit of powder blush. And I'm gonna also be using the Catrice, Catrice Blush Box. And this one's in the shade Glistening Pink. It's super pretty. Um, and I'm just going to do a little bit because that liquid blush is already pretty beaming. Just something to kind of set that. It matches really well. Look how pretty that is, you guys. You can never have too much blush, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, so that's literally all we're going to do. Like, I just did, like, two little swipes, kind of blended it. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the blush. 
and I'm gonna pop it in my crease. So typically I'll do blush in my crease or I can do bronzer, but I usually don't do bronzer on days like these. Um, so I just keep a little eyeshadow palette with a brown in it in my um, makeup bag. I'll show you guys it in a second. But it's literally so quick and easy and just gives a little bit of dimension to your eye. Especially if you put concealer there, it just adds a little bit of something. Um, and then kind of blend out those edges a little bit on a, with a um, clean blending brush. Just to make sure everything's nice and blended. Super quick and adds a little something again. Um, so here's the little eyeshadow palette that I have in my bag and typically I'll use this color or this color or mix them um, and this is the I, uh, elf <laughs> bite size shadow and this one's in the shade carnival candy really pretty they, these have a really great formula as well all right now let's finish off the eyes and do some mascara I've been loving the Maybelline sky high mascara lately I know it's been blowing up all over TikTok, but for good reason this time it's actually really nice and I love the wand on it especially I feel like it's a very unique wand and it makes it really easy to kind of get in there I always always curl up my lashes first because they stick straight out and this just kind of helps them I don't know if you guys can tell but the wand on this is just super duper flexible so it makes it really easy to Kind of get in there so I'll finish up these lashes and then we can get into the finishing steps of this look you guys I'm literally obsessed with that mascara it makes my lashes look so good and they are not naturally amazing so I really love how flattering it is um, and then next let's go ahead and get into some highlight um, I'm going to be going with this LA Colors highlight, and this one's in the shade Glow Time. Um, this can be super beaming, but you can also use a little bit less and make it a little bit more natural. Um, and today, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So I'm going to take a little bit on my brush, kind of swirl it in there, tap it off, and just add a little bit of highlight, because highlight looks good on any day. <laughs> And I'm also going to do a little bit in the center, on the chin, and then we're going to take a little bit in the inner corners as well. I feel like it just makes your eyes look more awake. So in the inner corners as well, brightens that up, and again it's very flattering. And then on these kinds of days, I typically don't like to wear a lipstick or anything like that. So usually what I'll grab for is like a clear gloss or you can even do like a, like a nude gloss. That'd be really pretty as well. Or I'll go in for one of these e.l.f. Um, what are they called? Ride or Die Lip Balms. And this is a clear one. It's the Mighty, Mighty Mint one. And this is kind of like a really pretty um, corally kind of shade on me. And this one's in the shade Tough Cookie and it smells like cookies. This one smells like mint and this one smells like cookies. And they have a, another shade in this as well. I think I'm going to go in with this today just to show you guys what it looks like. It's super pretty and it's very um, intense and nourishing on the lips. Um, you could wear these lip balms before you go to bed. I'll kind of show you guys. What it looks like it's like opaque but the other one is clear again so kind of have a couple of different options but I'm just gonna use my finger to work this onto the lips today it's super pretty it has a lot of pigment for being a lip balm I will say you just need the tiniest amount of this You guys, look at how pretty that is. It's super pretty. And it's not going to last all day, but it's just really easy to reapply. And yeah, 
that is basically it for this look. Let's just go ahead and use some setting spray to lock our makeup into place for the day. We're gonna be using the Ellie Girl setting spray. And again, you guys, I love this. Such a fine mist and it smells amazing. All right, you guys, here is that completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday glam. Let me know what your go-to products are for your everyday glam down below. And be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already and click the bell so you get notifications of all my future uploads. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.